Hey there beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin and I am so glad that you've joined me for another review. Today I will be reviewing the Ulta Brow Tint in the shade Deep. I've got some big brows as you can see. This is what they look like naturally, I don't have any product in them right now. My favorite brow products that I've tried would probably be the Anastasia Dip Brow. Um, and that's about $18, I believe. I also really like the Anastasia um, Clear Brow Gel. And then I've also tried um, several drugstore pencils. And I've also tried the drugstore Maybelline Brow Drama, which I was not a fan of because the brush was just way too big to do anything useful. It had like a ball at the end of the brush. So it was like really thick at the end. So it made it really difficult to get like detailed on the tail end of your brows. So I was excited to try a new drugstore um, brow product. I'm not sure how long this has been out, um, but the wand itself is very comparable to the Benefit um, Gimme Brow. It's just a small little wand. This is $10 from Ulta. Everyone always talks about the Ulta brand like it's so cheap. And it's true that they have great sales where you can do like a buy to get two free kind of thing. But if it's not on sale or if you're just buying one product, sometimes they can be more expensive than other drugstore brands. Does anyone else have that experience? So this was $10. Expectations were pretty high. Um, I saw that NYX also has a new brow gel, but I decided to try the Ulta one. So I guess the best thing to do would be to get right into the demo and then we can talk about my thoughts and do the review. Alright, I brought you guys in a little bit closer so we can see what's going on. And here we go. So I'm just going to lightly brush up in small short strokes. like I've got some accidentally right there. Um, I do need to get my brows done. I'm sorry that they are very bushy right now. Okay. So. Hmm. I like to brush the brow hairs at the front upwards and then as I get towards the outside edge then I'll kind of um, pull them along that way. But this is what it looks like on just one brow so you can see the difference between my natural brow and the Ulta brow tint. I definitely think that it does make the eyebrows appear darker so it's definitely tinting them. Um, they do seem fuller looking. It's almost, especially because my brows aren't perfect right now, a little intense looking. Um, and it's kind of difficult to be very precise. Like when I use the Dip Brow Pomade, I really like that I can go on with the brush or if I'm using pencil and be like super precise. And even though the brush on this is smaller, I feel like it was still pretty easy to like accidentally smear some or get somewhere you didn't want it. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other brow for you guys um, so that I am symmetrical. <laughs> Woo, I got a big glob right there on accident. Let's see if we can fix that. Oh, I'm just trying to like brush that out. So as you see, like I got another little spot right there. So it's like not the easiest thing I've ever worked with. And there are the finished brows. This is what it looks like when it is fully applied. So I do think that the look is a little harsh. Um, I do normally get a deep color. I think the color is okay. I mean, I have dark hair and my eyebrows themselves are very dark um, for the color of the hair. So um, I feel like if I wasn't wearing eyeliner, it would almost be too intense. There wasn't um, a whole lot of precision. I definitely like and would recommend this um, brow tint over the Maybelline Brow Drama. I was really frustrated with the brow drama. I don't think it added that much color and it was very difficult to get a precise application. So this was definitely better um, if you are looking for a drugstore brow mascara. 
Um, I haven't tried the NYX one yet, so um, if you guys have tried that one, let me know in the comments what you think and how it compares if you've tried any other drugstore brown mascaras. I would be interested to know what you guys think. Overall, I do think that this does tint your brows. It does what it says. Um, I like that the brush is easier to work with, but I feel like for me this is not a particularly natural look. I don't like this better than my other brow products. I feel like it's going to take a back seat to my dip brow still. If there's anything else that you guys want to know about this product, you guys can leave me a question in the comment section below and I would be more than happy to answer it to the best of my ability. If you are new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. It's free and it will send all of my new videos into your feed so we can keep up and keep talking about beauty things. So I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!